when you have a cluster in place there are multiple nodes that work together as a single system given that there is an underlying requirement that the nodes need to talk to each other one of the ways in which they talk to each other is using a private interconnect a private interconnect is just an additional network which is available for all the nodes you specify a private IP address a private host name with which you dedicate a separate network through which the nodes can communicate with each other what is the need for this number one inter node communication between the nodes in the cluster what do we mean by this since they are all a, together a single system each node should be aware whether the other node is available or not so they keep pulling each other and telling I'm alive I am alive this is one of the voting that happens through the private interconnect secondly there are other cluster related communications that will keep happening for example where do I start a service where do I start an instance which node should be part of which server pool all these are background communications that are happening at a cluster level between the nodes there is also inter instance communication when I have an RAC database which is put on a cluster then there is more than one instance for the same database which is running on more than one node obviously one node can have only one instance for a given database for example if I have a cluster of four nodes if I create a single database I can have only one instance for that database running in each node but let's say I have four databases I can have up to four instances for each database running across the cluster remember Oracle RAC is a shared everything architecture which means instances can access the entire database irrespective of where they are located this results in a need for communication between the nodes to transfer data blocks which is in the form of cache fusion and then there is other communication with respect to other objects for example if you execute a DDL on one instance what about other users who are accessing the same table on other instances so there is additional communication that happens and it is highly recommended this is a high-speed network because in an RAC database you don't want the interconnect to become a bottleneck by itself so it should have good speed and good bandwidth with which instances can communicate with each other this is basically the interconnect otherwise called as a private network which is very very important in an RAC environment so given that this is so important it is a good practice to ensure high availability of this how do we do that you can set up two ports in each node to run this interconnect by doing so what you would typically do is you can either do bonding at a OS layer or you can explicitly assign two network ports to act as the interconnect and the typical topology would be you will connect these ports to a switch and the ideal idea is you have a dedicated switch just for this network and the best part that you can achieve here is even to overcome a switch failure you can have two switches given the fact that you have two ports for every node one port will get connected to one switch the other port will get connected to the other switch and the two switches are connected to each other thereby even if a switch fails your inter-instance communication is there even if a port on the private network on one of the nodes fails it can still communicate with other nodes this is how you take care of high availability of your interconnect there are other means of voting that happens which we will talk in the next video which is about shared storage